Hello guys and welcome to my daily vlog and podcast of the verse of the day from the YouVersion Bible app. Thanks so much for tuning in, for listening, for watching. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe, share and comment. I'd love to hear from you and I'd love to grow this community along with you. So let's get right into it and check out what is the verse of today. But first, let's pray. Thank you Jesus for this opportunity to even in the cyberspace get together around your word. I thank you, Lord, that your word is truth, that your word is powerful, and that is, it is the sword that we have to battle in this life. I thank you that you will break open your word, your truth to us today. Holy Spirit, that you will lead us as we delve into what you have for us today. I pray it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All right, so today we have quite a challenging verse, and but also one that has a great promise. And uh, it comes from James 1 verse 5. Now, if you ever have studied the book of James before, you may have found that he's quite direct and uh, quite passionate about the truth. And he seems to be quite a black and white guy. I've read up a bit in Unlocking the Bible uh, by David Pawson on James. And he also found that it is written in a seemingly uh, disconnected way. There's one paragraph doesn't seem to necessarily flow on the next one, but he, he suggested that one reads James as if you're reading Proverbs. Um, but and if you read it that way and you, and you read it as a whole, the thing starts falling into place. So just a, a bit of a tip, maybe to, to, to work through James in that way on your own time as well. So get your Bible app, get your Bible. Um, I've got both today. And uh, check out James 1 verse 5. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God who gives generously to all without reproach and it will be given him. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God who gives generously to all without reproach and it will be given him. What an amazing promise. And it, it, wisdom is the thing that I believe most of us need the most of. And it's beautiful to remember that when Solomon was approached by God himself and asked and, and said that he can ask for anything, he was wise enough to ask for wisdom. And God blessed him with everything else as well. If you read the Proverbs, you will see the importance of wisdom and how it plays such a huge part in our um, calling and journey as Christians. So if you feel that, man, I'm, I'm sitting with some tough decisions, I'm here at the beginning of the year, I'm trying to plan my year, trying to find where God wants me to go, what He wants me to be busy with. Um, I've, I've, maybe you have a tough situation in a relationship or raising your children uh, and you need wisdom. This is an amazing promise to, to take as substance uh, for your faith. Because Hebrews 11:1 1 says, Faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen. And we can read this and say, this is my substance to know that if I ask God for wisdom, He will give it to me generously. Why? Because He generously gives to all. All what? All people. Without reproach, without any issues holding it against them or, or holding back. And it will be given. So we have this amazing promise. If we want wisdom, we can ask God and He will give it. What is not part of the verse of the day is the following verse. And I think actually it should have been part of it because there's a very important provision that comes straight after this verse. And we can't just read five in isolation and think that's where it stops. That's why it's always important. If you take a verse, you need to go back a couple of verses or a couple of chapters even and then also go ahead and see where does this fit into the story because listen to verse 6 but let him ask in faith with no doubting for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed by the wind verse 7 for that person must not suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord he is a double-minded man, unstable in his ways. Suddenly, after reading verse 5, you kind of go, Yeah, cool, I can ask for wisdom. Yes, please, that's amazing. 
But then there's this massive provision that you must ask in faith with no doubting. Otherwise, you can't expect to receive anything from God. That is quite hectic. And it's a hard truth. And I'm not making this up. This is what the Word of God says. I will read it to you from the New King James as well. You can listen to it there um, from verse 6. But let him ask in faith with no doubting. I'm just making sure that I'm reading the New King James because it sounds very similar to the ESV. But let him ask in faith with no doubting. For he who doubts is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by the wind. For let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. All right, so James has a way of, you know, giving it to us straight, of being very real about how things are. So here's a massive truth, a massive promise. God gives generously to all, and He wants to give us wisdom. That is clear from the verse of the day. And if you want wisdom, as I'm sure most of us do, you can ask Him. But it comes with this provision that you need to ask in faith, without doubting. And then it will be given to you. If, you do, if you're not doing it in faith, without doubting, you must not suppose that you will receive anything from God. Whew, that is hectic. But we must also remember that Jesus has given us the key to have this kind of faith. If we believe that He is the Christ, that He has done what He has said on the cross, that our substance for our faith is in Him, then we have faith. And then when we read this, we believe that God is not a man that He should lie. He will do it and we hold on to that. And then we, we will not be out of faith and doubting. We will be in faith with no doubting. And that is where we all should aim to be. The only way we can do this and operate from this place is once again by spending time with God, being alone with Him, quiet time, worshiping Him in spirit and truth, and, and downloading from heaven the truths that, that He has for you personally, specifically, because He has a personal relationship with each and every one of us. How amazing is that? All 8 billion people that are alive today can have access to the living God and have downloads from heaven. And even those that don't believe, that don't engage, God loves them. That is just blows my mind. But He is the one who gives generously to all without reproach. And if we ask, He will give it. But we have to be in faith, not doubting. So I want you to, I want to encourage us all today to stand in faith, not doubting, knowing that if we go to our Father in heaven and say, Lord, I lack wisdom. I ask that you will give me wisdom and I know that I know that I know you will give it. And then you can know that you will receive it because you're in faith, not doubting that the Father of heaven, the one who holds the universe in his hands has made you a promise and he will stick by his promise. I hope this has blessed you today, challenged you, challenged you as well, but blessed you knowing that this is something that you can go to the Father with. And do yourself a favor, go read James, go read it in a couple of translations, work through it and see what God can reveal to you in this book. It's a powerful book with many truths and it's really amazing. I'm, I'm very tempted to go on and, and do more on James, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick to what I've done and I, I trust that you've, you've learned something, you've grasped something about what God's wisdom is and how we can attain it and that you will share this with other people and help us grow this community. Thank you so much for listening and for tuning in. God bless you and may you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.